Hi, this is Tori Wheel with the Oracle Technology Network. We're here on the floor of DevOps UK live. You can hear the excitement in the ex exhibition hall, and I've got Venkat Subramanian. I blew your name. <laughs> Tell me how to pronounce your last name. Venkat Subramanian. Thank you very much. You are a Java champion, a Java rock star, a programmer, a consultant. How do you have time to sleep? Well, sleep is optional. Okay, <laughs> cool. So you just did a session on Lambdas, right? How was that? It was very well received. Well, I've been giving uh, talks on Lambda Expressions for a while in different conferences, and, and uh, almost any city I go to, it's standing room only. People are definitely very excited about Lambda Expressions. They're curious to know what's coming up in Java, what is in Java 8 now, and, and definitely uh, this was no exception in that. Uh, definitely people here in London are as excited as people anywhere else is to learn about the next big thing in Java. And people are saying lambdas is a big deal. Do you really think it is? Well is it, it good, it bad, what? No, no, absolutely. I mean, I'll, I'll, I'll be honest about this. I kind of got into it with lukewarm feeling. Mm -hmm. And then I have this one, one statement I, I like to make if I can. Uh, I, I say that lambda expression is the gateway drug <laughs> but streams are the real addiction. Ah. And, and so that's what happened to me. I kind of started exploring lambdas, and I was like, yeah, you know what, almost every other language has it, why should I care? And then once I got a little deeper into it, streams just drew me in. And, and the fact that Invoke Dynamic plays a really good role in terms of giving good performance, overall it's just amazing. I, 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 I'm going to say that this is the next big thing that's happened to Java. And, and I'm excited, but more important, a lot of other people are excited and people are eager to make use of it. Great, so tell me about adoption. I know you, you're a consultant, so you're out there in the real world, as it were. Well, so, so. so in, my, in my views, uh, I've started doing courses on Java 8 for companies, not just in conferences. People call me and say, hey, we want you to do Java 8 course. And, and when I go to them, I ask them, what are you using? Why are you excited about Java 8? And my observation has been that companies that are using lightweight frameworks and libraries are jumping on it. Uh, and, and I'm looking at clients who are either already adopted it or almost ready to adopt it in the next few months. Um, the companies that are already in Java 7 absolutely are eager to move into it, and there are quite a few of them. And the companies that are still, for various reasons, mostly held by heavyweight frameworks and libraries, are still back in other versions of Java, and they are also eager to learn about Java 8 because they want to be prepared to it. And one of the questions I hear from them is, okay, we cannot move into Java 8 yet, but what can we do so that when we do move into Java 8, we can make the transition really fast? And so uh, overall, there are companies moving into it already, and those that cannot for environmental reasons are learning about how to be there and be ready for it. So overall, I've only seen positive response to this. Excellent, I'm so glad, and I'm just going to put a little pitch in here. Java Magazine has bunches of stuff on Java 8. Lots of great articles, so you can check that out. Thank you, Venkat, for dropping by. I really appreciate it. It's always a pleasure to see you. Pleasure, thanks for having me. This is Tori Wheel with the Oracle Technology Network.